Okay, guys, we're gonna make. For the past weeks, I've been making this. Uh, seeing it in every character. And I've seen the tier list. Making it. And. This is gonna become really good of the tier list. Dory, this is my opinion, so. I'm not, call, I'm not gonna call you garbage because I put some characters. Okay, in the D tier, we're gonna start with Muscular and Compress. Both of them are really good characters. And uh, Nomu should be below uh, Muscular, but it's up, don't worry, it's alright though. Because. It, because due to uh, because they have really bad pressure as well as not that great at damage as well and not good amount of mix-up gimmicks to do. As well, in C tier we have we have Fatgum barely escaped the D tier due to Fatgum he does have even though he's a little bit stronger than Slim Gum but except uh, but except uh, now uh, they made the the patch. They made him his plus ultra really good now, which which is really awesome. And then uh, Night Eye, he he does counter attacks, but uh, he does not have good good amount of damage to deal with. But one of his quirks now it. He could get closer to an opponent and then and then do an assist extension right there. Danky and Dobby have similar qualities, but Dobby kind of has more damage than Danky, and then uh, and they both are are just average though. But uh, they both deal a little bit more damage. Dobby has a little bit more of an upper hand, but the, he, he still deals really bad. To do this change in the whole system. And then we have the characters in in B tier, which I'm gonna explain a lot of things here. At the bottom of B tier we have we have overhaul version two. He He has a lot of uh, recovery on his uh, all of his uh, quirks, which uh, literally, if you block all of his attacks, then that means that means you can punch him back. Sorry, I'm just uh, having a snack. Okay. Dudu, yeah, Dudu, he's really slow, which uh, he does not deal a really good amount of damage. For and then we have Sue, which uh, she does have a gravity reset, which it can make you really make a difference in his, in his attacks, in her attacks. Sorry about that. And then, and then uh, her gravity reset is better than Tonki's, but uh, in a different way though. Toroki, it he he still he does deals average damage, but uh, due to his uh, combos mini or super fast, like like having a a small small amount of damage can do, but. Uh, but uh, his jab is really bad. And then... And then uh, he deals a good amount of damage, but that's... Yeah. Uh, we have Tokuyami... Fall, uh, falling behind Tokuyami, but that's... And then, uh, yeah, Tokoyami, he uh, he does have the counter reversal summonings, but uh, but uh, he deals good amount of tech and damage by uh, some uh, Tokoyami players dancing in the previous tournament. 
I accidentally put a Rapa uh, and and a Kirishima and I accidentally uh, put them in the wrong place, but it's during. Uh, the next was supposed to be uh, Mei Hatsumi, but too bad uh, my friend didn't uh, put, put Mei in there. But she is super technical to play as. Yes. But I'm just gonna say that she she is really hard to play as yes. because even though it's kind of technical, but the, the damage is lacking in, in certain departments of her abilities. We have Gang Orca, which literally he does a lot of armor attacks, like the counter attacks, as in like yellow attacks, basically, which uh. Which is really good because Gang Orca kind of has gained the buff. Like for some reason, like it, it, I think it's like a, a, a less visual noise or something that causes really good damage on it, on his part. And then, and then we have Stain, which he's a balanced character, but the, his other abilities are below average. Rapa, he does deal great amount of damage. And the, but if he he's not good for his zo uh, defeating zoners at all. And then uh, we have Uraka Ochako, which uh, she lost her her uh, her loops that that could actually kill you. And then and then uh, her red attack is like really good though. No. Is one of the deadliest ones, and we have the middle uh, tier, which All Might and All for One are considered balanced characters. One has the quality of of counter zoning, and the other one has zoning options. Like All Might can go through projectiles, and then All for One can bring people closer to you. Or okay, counter zoning options. And then uh, we we have a uh, Nejere, which uh, she's a, she does have a little bit of, uh, below average damage, and then uh, she does have her combos take a little too long, but it's, she's all right though. Hawks is above her because uh, Hawks has these feathers because he can dash through he could dash and then throw his feathers at you, which uh, which is. A good neutral button right there and the attack button is kind of like a really good a good option to hit strike first and then we uh, see see that uh, Kirishima is in is in B tier because even though uh, four months ago uh, I I was gonna put put him at D tier, but to, due to the tech that Mario has has a place in the in the in the tournaments, he has been rocking out because due to his his rolling quirk being coming really good, really good for extending combos, and as well as giving off guard break pressures. We have Toga, which she does good zoning, but if she does have gaps in her, in her zoning. 100% Deku is at B tier because even though he's supposed to be strong, but if, due to the previous amount of patches, they made him very weak. Now his red attack is, is uh, his, uh, his tilt quirk too uh, is a lot slower, and his projectiles have gotten nerfed. In A tier, I just can't explain all these characters, but Jiro is at the bottom of A tier because she does deal a good amount of damage, but one of her tilt, uh, her, her buttons makes her give a lot of meter. Saiji, uh, he deals, he deals like low average damage, like net, uh, like Nejide, but to, but to, he could dash up and throw projectiles at you. Which does a really good amount of meter, and as well as above above pressure. 
Tomura's, uh, the new, uh, Shigaraki has, like, new, like, he, he does have a new, uh, counter pr projectile, like, it's kind of like a counter, like, it, the projectile goes to the ground and then, and then he deals more than half of your health bar if he, get the player to play him right. Tamaki and Majiki, he's got, he's really, uh, good, but that's, he does have a lot of nerfs, but, Kami, she does have a, have a good, good amount of wake up pressures, but it's all he's. She's also the same exact as Tomura Shigaraki. And uh, Mina and Mineta are like similar, but uh, but uh, they can kill you, but uh, in a in different amount of ways though. Momo, she does really good damage. She's the same damage as the new Shigaraki, but uh, she does have Oki as Kami. Both uh, Chisaki and or Overhaul and and uh, Endeavor have great have are good zoners, but uh, but have uh, very different amount amount of options. Mirio is kind of a good counter zoning, but. Uh, but uh, if you have meter, then that means he's a good character, though. But I personally sometimes it can get up to different amounts of damage. And uh, Aizawa does not deal good amount of damage, but no, uh, not good. Amount. He does not deal well with zoners. Zonings is is not in his uh, favor. Which, even though his uh, erasing quirk is one of the best tricks in the game. <laughs> Uh, twice he does have a really high mobility, aka, like, he does have really high speeds, but not really, uh, good, uh, good with tech. And then we have, Hun we have regular base Deku, which he's a really good character. And then we have Ida, he, he does have a lot of block strings, which causes him to extend a little bit more. But we have two characters on S tier. We have Bakugo and Gran Torino. These two characters are insane tech monsters in the whole entire game. Because Bakugo has like the... He does have a lot of speed and Gran Torino can kill you 75% of your health. Yeah, and I want to show off this picture of Oma in... <laughs> all from Joe. 